Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. So let's pretend for a second that we're going to hang out on a Friday night, right? And you have an ex- a, a, like an exciting plan, you have a great idea or a suggestion for what we're going to do, and you tell me. And I say, yeah, but I've been tired, so I'd like to be home early. You automatically hear limitations. You hear disagreement. You hear potentially even maybe a little bit of threat towards your idea. It's it's weird that we feel threatened by it, but it's like, was I wrong? Or It's weird. But if you present the same idea, it's Friday night, you've got a great idea, great suggestion you're excited about, and I say, yes, and can we be home at a reasonable time because I've been tired? You experience that very differently. For some reason, the and opens us up to opportunities, to possibilities. Okay, Mark is interested in this idea, but he has, and I just said but, right? There are some limitations and that's okay because of the and. I have no idea why our brains do this, but we, for some reason, as we grow up, kids are more wired to see possibilities and to play and experience creativity. But for some reason, as we grow up, we get so focused on our disagreements, on the things that we don't like, and on the limitations that we might feel. And so we're talking about how do we kind of break that, especially uh, based on our faith, when we have this faith that kind of leads to more, that or that we, we assume that we could do more things, we can stretch, we, God is calling us to more than maybe what we've experienced, then yes and, is a better way to think about it yet rather than yes but yes but keeps us right where we are and yes and opens us up to new opportunities we're asking a lot of questions in this series about how do we experience a more full more meaningful or as Brene Brown says in her book the power of vulnerability a more wholehearted life we're all kind of asking this question of like at the end are we gonna have done what we wanted to do have we experienced all the things that we want to do. And Brene has 10 guideposts that lead us in that direction. And one of them is to cultivate creativity and then let go of curiosity. And so this week's uh, series, or I mean, this series is called Beautiful Things. And this week's uh, message is all about that, uh, like the creativity, how do we bring more creativity? How do we open ourselves up to more things and also limit the, the disagreements or the, the things that we we see as negative, like those limiters, which is, again, yes and rather than yes but. And honestly, I think that this is connected to our faith. It's not, uh, not just Brene Brown's social research. Our faith calls us to a number of different things. If you search creativity and the Bible or you search comparison and the Bible, there are a ton of options on what it looks like to to really what God is asking us to do. And one of the verses that I often reflect on as I've been growing uh, uh, my business and as I've been thinking through, like what does God really want from me? What's my purpose? One verse that has resonated with me that I've revisited several times as I maybe am not as far as I would like to be or maybe I, I look at somebody else's career and wish that I had what they had. And it's in Galatians 6, cha- uh, verses four and five. The Bible says each of you must examine your own actions. So it's the the comparison piece that Brene talks about that kind of, you know, the the comparison is the thief of joy. She says that when when we have this comparison trap, it limits us. It's that yes, but. Somebody says, hey, Mark, you're doing great. We're so proud of you. And I say, yeah, but that it it turns the compliment away and and people don't want to keep engaging with that. But I've said, yes, thank you so much. And I'm, there's so much more to do. I'm so excited about what's next. It's a totally different perspective. And I believe our faith asks us to do this. This is how God wants us to behave. So it says, each of us, you must examine your own actions, only your own actions. And then you can be pr- proud of your own accomplishments without comparing yourself to others. Assume your own responsibility. And for me, that for some reason always opens up Mark, you're responsible for you, and there's so much that you have yet to do, and it's exciting. Not, you're responsible for your own your own actions, 
but you're not doing a very good job. And so this challenges me a lot as, as I try to look around and really look for new opportunities and what more could I do rather than what have I not yet done. And so in our faith this week, I just want to challenge us to, to really work on the, the way that we think about, the way that we engage this world, the way we communicate with our families or our friends or even people we don't know, to step into it more with that yes and mentality. Yes and what would God want me to do here? Yes and what is God calling me to? So in your faith, practice this week a yes and mentality and I, I think you'll experience more beautiful things than if you use a yes but mentality which is a little bit more like religion rather than what Jesus has called us to, which is yes and. Thanks for watching Faith in 5. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.